Oh, yes, I've worked hard. Yes, I've done a lot of hours. Yes, I've made a lot of great money. And so I want you to know, like, I think that we can all say that we have in common the fact that sometimes you can feel like a dream is just too far away. Sometimes you can feel like it's just out of your reach. How, who here actually can be honest and say, I felt like that. I felt like hitting the rank of uh, silver is just so far away. Hitting the rank of gold is so far away. Hitting the rank of jade, diamond is so far away. And I am not even binary qualified yet. I'm struggling with sales. I haven't figured it out. Right? Some days we feel powerful enough. Some days we feel like... Ooh, I got this. I'm ready to, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to make a, a, a hundred phone calls. I'm ready to send out a hundred text messages. I'm ready to talk to a hundred new people. I'm ready to post some content. And we do it those days, right? Most of us. And then some days we start to wonder what's the point. We're thinking like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not in the mood today. It's just, you know, it's not going to be, it's not working out for me. So let me just fall back. Oh, who would be real and say, I felt like both of those? Because I know I have, even at the rank of Jade, I have felt like that. But you know what? I can say that I've never thought about quitting because I love what we do. And I love the difference that I know I make when I help somebody make money, when I help somebody get a result that they wanted to get within their health or their um, weight goals. I love when I teach somebody something new that they can apply to all areas of their life. And so... I just want to share, like, don't hold yourself back and always know that you are capable of anything you set your mind to. Anything. Who can believe that? Type it in the chat. I am capable of anything that I set my mind to. And so the movie that I was watching yesterday is called A Million Miles Away. And so there is this Mexican family and they're working in the field and so you had the mom, dad, sister, and brother working in the field. And the little boy, the brother, was about seven. And, you know, he was just having one of those days, like, what's the point? I'm over this. He fell in a whole bunch of mud, and he was just, he got up and said, I'm sick of this. And he started screaming out loud. And mind you, hundreds of people walk, working around in the field. And he screams out loud, I'm sick of this. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, it's just exhausting, and I'm dirty, and I stink. I'm sick of this. And so the father came up to him and said, um, son, this is your past, but it doesn't have to be your future. This will always be your past. He said, dad, he said, no, his father said, so I am tired too. You don't think that I'm tired? You don't think that your mom is tired? You don't think that everybody else out here is tired? He said, well, how do you keep going feeling so tired? and exhausted and you know how do you keep going and his father said you need to have a recipe he said you gotta know the recipe and y'all i want y'all to write this down write this recipe down because this is so powerful for everything that we want to accomplish you need to have a recipe if you want to recruit a hundred people in 90 days you need to have a recipe if you want to sell five, six products a day. You need to have a recipe. If there's a minimum amount of money you need to make to make a difference in your life, or maybe it's not the money for you, but you also still need a recipe if there's people that you want to help because it's in your heart that you just love to help people. You have to have a recipe. So write this down, right? Number one, he said, know what you want. Type it in the chat. What is it that you want? And maybe you want to hit the rank. What do you want to do over the next 90 days? That's why I love using that 90 days of greatness title for the call because I really wholeheartedly feel like it only takes 90 days to change your life. 90 days of doing something that you didn't want to do, that you don't feel like doing, that you feel exhausted doing, can make such a big difference. And so what do you want to become over the next 90 days? Well, where are we? We're in September. We have October, November, December. That means that... By January 1st, by December 31st, you could be a different person, operate from a different mindset with a whole different team and a whole different level of income. Who do you want to be in 90 days? Type it in the chat. Be bold. In 90 days, I need to be diamond. I need to be diamond. And I'm five ranks away from diamond. I need to be diamond in 90 days. I need it. I've seen it. I've seen 
where someone came into uh, the industry and crushed it in less than six months. So that means I know it's possible. Maybe you've never seen it, but I want to let you know that it's possible. Because guess what? You are capable of every, anything that you set your mind to, especially when you have a recipe. So know what you want. Type it in the chat. Come on, can I get a couple of y'all to type in the chat what you want over the next 90 days? Maybe you want to help 100 people. Maybe you just want to bring your income to silver status or gold status in the next 90 days. That is okay. Your dream doesn't have to be my own. I was watching Sir Christopher's video of when he left his job. And Sir Christopher, I, I think I recorded you when we were at the convention in Jamaica and you said that you went jade and then two months later you were diamond. Is that correct? So that lets me know that I, I, I'm slipping. I'm slipping bad because I've been jade for about two years. I've been jade for two years. And I look at I look at um, the volume in everybody's back office because I can see everybody in the organization volume. And I'm like, Sir Christopher crushes me every single month, right? And and I'm not saying that to compare myself. I'm saying that to reevaluate myself and say, what is he doing that I'm not doing? What is he, uh, who is, like, how is he operating? What is his mindset? What is his work schedule like? Like, I'm about to be like, Chris, let's sit on the phone eight hours a day so you can work with me and help me see what I'm not doing. For real. <laughs> it's a thought, but I know it's probably not likely because we're both busy. <laughs> but, you know, when you think about that, know what you want. And I see Miss Tara says to rank up. But Miss Tara, I want you to be more specific. I want you all, if you don't know what the ranks are and what it takes to get there, that's your assignment when we get off of here. Go and look at the compensation plan and look at what the ranks are. See what it takes to get there in terms of how many bronze partners do you need to have? How much volume do you need to have? Right? Know what you want. Know what you want. The guy in this movie, okay, he applied his father's principles to become an astronaut and if you ask anybody this is a true story by the way you ask anybody what they want to what is their dream and they say to become an astronaut you're gonna be like what right like how likely is that and so maybe your friends and family are looking at you like that but you gotta start telling them my dream is to become a diamond in this company let them look at you like that because then you'll find people who believe enough to leave big enough to be in alignment with that and say you know what I'm going to help you get there and I'm going to get there too start telling people I want to be a diamond I want to be global crown diamond I want to be double diamond I want to be a jade you know what I want to be a platinum how about that what if you made that your goal I want to be a platinum because at platinum you start getting roll up fast track bonuses which means anybody enrolled within the organization you get paid weekly from that too so I think that is a great the, the, the key ranks that I believe should be your first steps to knowing, oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, would be stuff like silver, because that silver, you start getting a 50% check match. And, oh, is that sweet? And then platinum, you start getting a roll up fast track bonuses. And Lord knows, Sir Christopher, let us know what diamond, what, what are the benefits of diamond, because I ain't reached there yet. <laughs> let us know what extra stuff did you notice at diamond. <laughs> So I'm telling you, I looked at some of my old paychecks from when I had, like, a whole lot of personals that were doing a lot of volume. And, boy, my 50% check match was bigger than my binary pay. So imagine if you're just working for yourself versus working to build other people, hope, helping other people earn, right? Know what you want, number one. Number two, look at where you are now to see how far you have to go. Where are you now? I'm Jay right now. Where are you right now? Type it in the chat. Where are you now? And you want to analyze that. If you're just getting started and you're just, like, not even binary qualified, that is fine. Acknowledge it, though. Acknowledge it. So that way you can you can see, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been in for a year. I'm not binary qualified. Okay, well, you know, I know I want to get to silver. Could that be your first goal? You, If you hit silver already, I know I need to get to platinum. You hit platinum, I know I need to get the JD, right? So look at where you are, and even look at where you are in your life and your habits. What habits would it take? And that would be number three. Think about how you're going to get there. And this brings me back to what I said about me needing to talk to Sir Christopher every day because the man went diamond in two months. So he could tell me how I'm going to get there, what I need to do to get there. He could tell me that. 
You talk to me, I could tell you what you need to do to get the jade. You talk to your upline and maybe silver or gold, they can tell you what to do to get there. Don't ever talk about how to get the diamond, though. Let me tell you that. And that's why I don't talk much about how to get the diamond, because I'm not a diamond. I let the diamonds do that. If I figured it out, I'd be diamond. But I can tell you how to get to jade. I can tell you that, you know, I was at flea markets every weekend. I started setting up at malls every single, uh, yeah, but I did the mall for like three or four months. I started finding vending, vending events so that I could be at vending events every single weekend that I wasn't at the flea market. I started looking in my back office to see who was in my organization and reaching out to them to say, hey, how you feeling? What you need? What's life like for you? What's your goal? Can I help you sell some product? Post these statuses, create this content, reach out to these people, see if you can get everything you had when you sold so you can order more. Boom, they get it. That's how I got to Jade. Right? So when you analyze how you're going to get there and you don't know how, if you can think about it, like how you don't know how, number four is commit to learning how. Commit, commit. Can y'all type in the chat? Commit. Commit to learning how. Right? Because in your commitment to learning how, you'll be on every training call. You'll do uh, uh, research on your own, on social media, on YouTube, on in the back office. Commit to learning how. I can tell you this. I needed to have product knowledge to get the jade because I needed to be able to train other people. I needed to be able to talk to my customers and be confident. So when you commit to learning how, you're not going in a group chat to say what helps with X, Y, Z. You're going to go to Google and research the ingredients in our products so you can identify with what product does what and make those your staple products that you stick to. Identify at least five products in your back office that you can fully commit to learning about so that could be what you, uh, what you, what you, what you blaze your trail with. Right? Commit to know how to be you going to YouTube. Typing in YouTube how to recruit 30 people in, in 20 days, how to recruit 20 people in 90 days, or whatever the case may be. How to become a better recruiter. Committing could be, let me go see who the top 10 network marketers are in the industry and go see what their social media pages look like and what books are they talking about, what audios are they talking about. Let me go and start listening to that. that those are things that I did to get the jade. Those are things that I'm doing to get to Diamond. I'm looking at millionaires and multi-millionaires to figure out what they're doing and what I need to do different. How does their Instagram look? How does their TikTok look? What books are they mentioning? Oh, they mentioned, you know, 10X by Grant Cardone. Let me go read that. They mentioned, if you're not first or last by Grant Cardone, let me go read that. Oh, you know, uh, I don't know. they mentioned Les Brown. Let me go look him up. Les Brown mentions this other person and this other person, and then I go down this rabbit hole of studying. But guess what? You don't need to study everything at once. Study something you can master now. That's how you commit to learning how. When you're in school, they don't give you algebra in first grade. When you're in school, they give you basic math, and then you graduate. So what if you looked at it like that? You don't have a team right now? Cool. Maybe you don't need leadership by John um, um, John C. Maxwell. But maybe you need uh, something like uh, how to win friends and influence people so you can build your influence to be able to attract more people to want to work with you in business. Maybe you need something like, uh, I'm running out of things off the top of my head. I would have to look in my, aud my, aud <laughs> my audible off the top of my head. But maybe you need Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Maybe you at that place where you don't yet believe that you could be uh, a diamond. You don't yet believe that you could have an organization of thousands of people and, and have secure income coming through the business but you're here because you want to believe it you're here because you are like even if i don't ever make that thousands of dollars i'm okay with making a couple hundred and i'll leave it at that but in the back of your mind you say thousands and millions of dollars would be nice when you commit to learning how then you're reaching out to your upline saying you know what i'm stuck i ain't make no money all week tell me what i need to do different or if your upline can't help you, say, look, I understand that you just started not too long ago or you're not binary qualified or you're struggling just like I am. How about me and you do a three-way call with our upline, Sir Christopher, so we can see if we can get a game plan from him. 
And then whatever Sir Christopher says, you take it and you apply it right away. Don't say, oh, wait till I get my hair done. Wait till I reorganize my house. Wait till I have the right background. Wait till this, wait till that. No, you come as you are. Be the best person you can be in that moment. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, put it in a ponytail, clean your face, put on a nice shirt, turn that camera on. Y'all, it blows me away, and I'm just sidebar. This is nothing to do with it, but I just always want to talk about how, and I'm guilty of it because if I'm not, if I'm not like, if I'm doing stuff or I'm not in the house, cool, I don't have the camera on. But if I'm in the house and I'm sitting here watching, like probably all of you are, because it's eight o'clock in the morning, (laughs) I would have the camera on. I see these calls and other with people from other companies, and they every single person is on with their camera on. You want to know why? Because it shows a level of leadership, accountability, a level of boosting their own confidence. Because maybe you're not confident on camera, but if you can't turn your camera on in front of family right here on Zoom, then you're likely probably not going to record a video or go live. Start posturing yourself up to turn your camera on. Nobody can come through the phone and punch you in the face because your background is messy. Like, everybody's starting from somewhere. There's somebody right now building a business from their car. There's somebody right now building a business from the gutter. I see homeless people sitting outside talking about what they got going on and where they want to go. Straight life. And yet you're in your cozy home. Maybe you didn't do the dishes. Maybe the kids got toys all over the background. Maybe it's a clutter behind you. Maybe it's a clutter behind you. But turn your camera on. Position yourself. Posture yourself. Right? And show yourself. All right, anyway, back to what we were talking about. Um, if that was number four. If you don't know how, commit to learning how. Number five, when you think you've made it, try even harder. And I will honestly say that that was the mistake I made. See, when I thought I made it, when I hit the rank of Jade, it was like, whoo, now I could just focus on my team. And that put me back years simply because I wasn't, I stopped, I slowed down recruiting. I slowed down focusing on my health and weight. I'd say my weight because I'm always focused on my health. Health is so important. Health to me is more important than weight, but they go hand in hand. (laughs) However, I will honestly say that I stopped working out the way that I was. Um, I stopped managing my carbs and all of that when I hit the rank of G. My whole goal when I on my way to J was let me get rid of this weight, show people I'm getting rid of it so I can attract people to recruit. Honestly, I always wrote on my refrigerator, the better I look, the more money I make. And so, um, when you think you made it, try even harder. In that season, when I hit the rank of J, I should have hammered in on recruiting more people. I should have hammered in and doing more personal launch calls with the people that were participating. I should have hammered in on showing up. But guess what? I went through times where, you know, I felt like I wasn't um, being valued. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to do nothing with nobody. And I'm just going to sit back and just see what happens. I shouldn't have did that. And so I want to tell you, even when you hit the rank of silver, even when you hit the rank of gold, when you hit the rank of platinum, go harder. Okay, if you've you've recruited 100 people to get to the rank of platinum, all right, challenge yourself. How long can it take you to get to 200 people? You know, I've learned a lot from our our social media mentor, Miss Jessie Lee, um, in... I am really, I was really devastated about her passing. If anybody doesn't know about that, yeah, she passed. She had stage four colon cancer. And I absolutely loved her. I mean, I was in tears. Like, you know, you see people sad and crying about celebrities. And I never understood that. And she she really was like a network marketing celebrity. But guess what? She fed us every day. And if you don't know about who she is, why I was so devastated because of who she is. You should go look at her podcast. You'll learn a lot. She actually passed away um, Sunday. <laughs> I just want to cry. Cry every time I think about it. Um, she actually passed away on Sunday. And if you go look at her YouTube, her TikTok, her Instagram, her podcast, you'll see that she fed us she made it and she was still going harder to feed the industry of network marketing, not just her team. So if you don't know how, start there. 
because she definitely le- left a legacy. And I think that is, that is my ultimate goal to make sure that I do enough so that I have impacted a lot of people, changed a lot of lives, broken the chains off of our people's legs that are still believing that we're not good enough for million dollar days. Broken the chains off our people's legs that feel like, oh, high blood pressure runs in my family. Diabetes runs in my family. It's just destined to happen. No, it runs in your kitchen. But you know what? I really, really, um, I really know that she changed my life a lot because I was committed to learning. So I took her courses. I showed up on her calls. I learned we had never been in the same company. I didn't hold myself back and say, oh, she's great. I'm not. I'm just not going to do what she said. This whole chat GPT thing, I was never interested until I heard her talking about it. I said, let me learn more about it. So I'm going to say to you, I hope that at the end of this call, you can identify your recipe. You can look at who is where you need to get to right now in this season over the next 90 days. And see, ask yourself, what is the difference between Aisha, Queen, who's Jade, and myself? Yeah, she, um, it is shocking. She had stage four. She started talking about stage four colon cancer, um, her diagnosis back in February. And, um, I will tell y'all that I'm not a doctor, but I do know, I remember, I was on like so many of her lives. I remember her say about a, a year ago, I don't eat vegetables because she was doing keto. So she had been doing keto for years. And I really, and I say this to y'all because y'all know what we talk about, you know, about getting proper nutrition, about getting your veggies, about being healthy, eating for health and not for taste and things like that. And of course, that's what she thought she was doing in her mind. But and I, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying I know how meat can feed cancer cells. And so she probably just wasn't in the space to know that at that time. And so after her diagnosis, and guess what, y'all? They put her on a vegan diet after her diagnosis. So imagine if she'd have known about what we know now. Well, imagine that, right? Um... So look at Sir Christopher and think about like, what's the difference between Sir Christopher and myself? He's a man. He has blood through his body. He's in shape. He's on every call. And that's what I looked at when I said, okay, you know what? I need to hit diamond. That's why I have committed to being on, if y'all, I don't, y'all probably haven't noticed because I mean, I'm one person, right? Like who would notice? But I've been on a lot of the calls more now because I realized that Sir Christopher was like going strong every single call. And mainly, be, mainly he probably really held accountable because we're using his Zoom line. So I know that that is very critical in this, but he's there. He could hop on, make me the host and leave. But he's there. 98% of the time, he's there listening. Even if he said, oh, I don't need to know this, but I'm just going to tune in. I'm going to respond to it in the chat. I'm going to be present. But y'all think about other leaders we have that you don't see, right? I know y'all can notice and identify leaders we have that you don't see. So I said, which one of them do I want to follow? Do I want to follow the leader that's on every call, that is very supportive of his team, that is very professional, that is very uh, 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 well-spoken, that elaborates on the products, the compensation plan, the company, his vision, very eloquent, like clear, makes you want to just hop on his back and say, take me for a ride. So I need to figure out what's different between me and him so I can figure out what I need to do to get the diamond. Maybe you need to figure out what's different between you and your silver. Maybe you need to figure out what's different between you and your gold, you and your platinum, you and your jade. Like, and I say your meaning like me or anybody that you're connected to. I don't know everybody's position, so I can't name the names of who's where and what and how. But you know who they are, who your upline, upline, upline is. What's the difference between y'all? It's not timing. I can tell you that. The only person that really benefited from timing the most, honestly, is Albert. 
Albert Jackie really benefited from timing. It's not timing. Because when you look at timing means that when you got when you get in, the within the first month you have thousands of people on one side. That's timing. But when you are a, a Sir Christopher, that's why he impresses upon me the most, who comes in in the middle of building, years after the company has already launched. Years after thousands or millions of people have already been enrolled. And he's able to grow his organization and hit the rank of diamond. And not only that, but maintain it at high levels for years to come. That is the person I want to look at and say, what are you doing? He's showing up. So I show up every call. He's not afraid to unmute his mic and give us two, three, five, eighteen, twenty. 99 cent, because it ain't two cents. 99 cent. He's willing to type in the chat, even when it's redundant, probably to him. Because he's like, I'm not going to commit, but I'm going to type, I'm going to commit. Because I already, y'all know I'm not going to, I'm not, wait, I'm going, <laughs> y'all already know I'm committed, but I'm going to type, I'm going to commit, because I'm going to participate. Nine times out of ten, his camera is on every time he's talking. So, those are a few key things if you want to look at how you're going to get there. All right, y'all. With that being said, do y'all have any questions? Somebody said, who is a leader? What do you mean by that? I can unmute you if you want to show me what you mean by who is a leader. Not sure how to answer that. Who is a leader? Simone, what you mean? I have extra time you. Hey, good morning. Hey, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, when I said who is a leader, I meant like you're saying look up um the qualities. I'm talking oh. about the quality. Is it because of the rank or the quality, of course, of the person, you know, where we should look up to to say, all right, this person is someone we should follow or are we looking at the ranks to say that Ooh, this person one. is a leader? That's you right. Yeah. You know what I would do because guess what? Only people won't know. Like, let, what's your Simone? Silver. All right. So I just got started and I don't know what your qualities are or what you, what your attributes are to the company. I just know that the person that brought me in told me you were a silver. So I'm going to come to you and I'm going to say, Hey, Simone, I just got started like, you know, two weeks ago and, um, I need a game plan. You know, how did you get to silver? So you could tell me, right? That's cool. But then you want to start looking at, okay, as time goes on, do I see Simone on calls? Do I see Simone right. recruiting people? Do I see Simone posting on social media? Is Simone feeding her team? Okay, so I'm not going to call her no more. Let me see. Who's next? Who can That's I call? It. That's mm -hmm. it. Initially, That's you it. may go to somebody and just because of their title because somebody said, this is, I'm not even going to use you because I know that you are very present and powerful. So let me make up a name. This is uh, Jasmine Watkins. She is a silver leader. And that's all you know in the beginning. Because this is the first time you're hearing it. Maybe Christine just hopped on a call tomorrow morning and all of a sudden we hear about this Jasmine Watkins who became silver, right? And, and you know, she's on a call now. And then it makes you want to say, hey, Jasmine, can you help me? Right? But then you go to Jasmine's Facebook page and you see Jasmine ain't posting nothing in in right. 85 days and you go to you know her the group that Jasmine's in you don't see Jasmine saying nothing in the group you go to you know you get what I'm saying that's how you can really identify like do I want to follow this person and let me tell y'all something no, so I, I, I don't understand you know but I'm just asking that question because I know a lot of um I think you know a lot of affiliates like confused oh yeah that was a great question you know, the concept of yeah. You leading from the front, just like Sir Christopher. You present, you are postured as a diamond right now asking that question, because I know you know. 
But I know yeah. that you were thinking of the team you don't know. That's passionate right, like right. Christopher. That's diamond stuff right there. Thank you. Right. You welcome. Let me tell y'all something what I do. Because y'all might be thinking like, well, how do I know who's course to buy into? Because you see, you know, courses that pop up on social media that say, buy my course and you'll learn how to recruit without selling. Well, buy my course and you'll learn how to, you know, um, build your engagement on social media. I go and look at, are they are they showing me a clear display of what they say they can provide for me? That's how I'll do I bought Jesse Lee's course. That course we've been listening to for the last five weeks, I bought that. It wasn't it didn't cost me much, but shoot, even then, I still want to check your credentials before I buy into it. Matter of fact, I can tell y'all this. There's a guy right now who um, Kieran introduced me to. He's he called himself your 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 social your wait hold on your internet upline or something like that. And his whole podcast is talking about um, all things network marketing. And, you know, areas of struggle, how to overcome, all of that stuff. And so listening to his podcast, I'm like, ooh, I like this. And now he's offering a course as to say how to build your engagement. No, how to build your customers by building your engagement, even when you don't post about your business or products. That sounds attractive, right? That sounds like, hmm, let me figure out what, what, how I can use that. So I go to his Instagram and I say, okay, he checks out. He has a large following, people are engaging on his content, his whole page looks like a brand, out there of course, it's only $30 yeah, but I'm not going to spend $30 on somebody, I go to their Instagram and they got a thousand followers, no likes or comments, I'm not spending my $30 on that, because they just probably went to chat GPT to write that uh, the, to, to create that training, which means that don't mean it's going to be really effective so that's just an example. Um, I paid for Jessie Lee's because I know what I've seen her grow into and the people, the testimonies I've seen come through her leadership. She had, she, it was like I always wanted to know her secret sauce, the ingredients to her secret sauce. And that training gave me the ingredients I always wanted to know since I've been watching her grow. And so, yeah, um, I know I went into something else, but that's how you identify it check on them on what they say they're doing maybe you know this person hasn't recruited much but you see that they're actively attempting to so maybe you won't listen to what they're saying to do as to post but maybe you can listen to the the fundamentals that it takes all right y'all anybody else have any questions or comments did y'all enjoy this was this fruitful for you this morning if this was fruitful for you this morning drop the number seven in the chat please let me know that it was valuable thank you sir christopher lee from the front like the diamond that you are diamond that you are diamond that you are thank you andrea thank you mr eric nathan thank you mr in the chat or unmuting yourself you are definitely on the all right path to success to becoming that silver that gold that platinum that jade remember your assignment is to go look at where you want to be that way you can identify where you are what is it going to take what is it going to take for you to get there what is it going to take for you to recruit 10 people a month what is it going to take for you to sell a minimum of 500 pv worth of product a week what is it going to take we know that there's someone who sells 2,000 pv worth of product every single month if you have access to her, go reach out to her and say, hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Sir Christopher. I cannot think of using her name every call. And if you're on this call, darling, my dear, my queen, I'm sorry that I can't remember who that person is. But I know that I hear and I see her a lot. Gosh, forgive me. Um, but go, go, if you know who I'm talking about. But reach out. How you? How are you selling two thousand worth of PV every single month? Identify where you are, so you can roadmap the way you need to go, and reach out to the right people. Start studying the right stuff, listening to the right books, typing. You can type anything on YouTube, anything at all, and learn how to get good at it. Anything. And if you want to set up your own Zoom, so you can start doing your own Zoom calls, but you don't know how, go to YouTube. If you want to be able to create content that attracts more customers, go to YouTube. If you want to create engaging content 
that engages your audience, go to YouTube. If you want to create a brand around your uh, your your Vita Divina business, go to YouTube. All right, y'all have a great day because I keep going on and on and on, on. Love y'all. See y'all later on tonight for the training. Oh, and the training tonight will be about how to create and edit videos because that was a request. So I said, yeah, let's go ahead and do it tonight. And we can listen to, hopefully we'll be able to listen to that last day of the recruiting boot camp. But I know that, you know, we have probably done information overload during the recruiting boot camp. So let's do something that could be applicable starting tomorrow, tonight. All right. Um, in terms of creating the, the content that we've learned about how to create. All right. Have a great day, y'all. Thank you for all the sevens. See y'all tonight.